from Arami Fun Music and thanks again for watching one of my tutorials. Today I'm bringing you a way to actually export your SVG files from Musical and then import them into Canva. It's quite simple, but you haven't been able to do that until now. I actually have the pleasure of teaching one of the engineers that work at Canva here in Sydney. And I brought this up with him that I wasn't able to import my SVG files I was creating, such as my um, sheet music, etc., into Canva so I could actually create wonderful, crisp, clear PDF files in Canva. So he said, send me a file and let's see what we can do. And luckily enough, he was able to fix and rectify the issues. So now it's possible to actually upload into Canva your SVG files from MuseScore. So simply all you need to do is go into MuseScore, create a new file if you want to. Let's just say I'm going to create something simple the grand stuff. Uh, let's see here. That's fine. Let's finish that off. Yep. I create my file, put some notes in here, etc. etc. So now what you do is you go to file and you need to export. Okay, and I'm sure this is quite similar in the Windows version. Export and then let's just call it you know, Canva uh, SVG test and let's just put it on my desktop to make it easier to find and okay so instead of PDF what we want to uh, export as is SVG and SVGs are great because they allow you to resize images and, uh, and it, they maintain nice crisp clear quality especially if you're making PDFs which you want to maintain a great nice clear um, level of quality to add to your professionalism when you're creating files. Now we just save that file. Now just go back to Canva and we go to uploads and let's upload an image. And all we need to do is go and find the file. Yep, here we go, Canva test. And look, it's uploading. Before, if you try to do that, you'd get an error. No longer is that the issue. So all you have to do is pop it into wherever you want. Let's just increase the size here and there you go you've got the SVG let's just crop it if we need to wonderful and then you can resize and if you see if we keep resizing it actually maintains a nice crisp clear quality let's just try it by cropping a bit more okay yep see nice and clear so when you create a PDF let's say we create here a bit. let's download this as a PDF print download that we're just uh, waiting for that to happen. Oh, well, well. Yes, yes. We've got uh, all the Canva um, advertising, which is fine. I don't mind. I actually pay the premium service. And look at that. You have a nice, crisp, clear image. So if you're going to create some sheet music or worksheets, for example, for teachers, this is the way to go about it now. So hopefully this is, tutorial has been helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. And I uh, hope to see you at the next uh, tutorial. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.